As the reach of civilization has slowly spread across the western frontiers of America, the era of the cowboy is coming to an end. In its place are now automobiles, telephones, and the rule of law. With the sun setting on the Wild West, there remains a place where the old ways still hold true, the last real outlaw country, New Austin. A rugged, arid wilderness, New Austin is the last remnant of the American frontier yet to be mapped, conquered, and settled. Trains and coaches run between the larger towns and scattered forts, but much of the territory can still only be reached by horseback. Here, the open spaces are roamed by savage bandits and wild animals, and even on newly cut roads or ancient trails, a sidearm is all but necessary. New Austin is situated between the Mexican state of Nuevo Paraíso to the south and the regional capital of West Elizabeth to the northeast. The territory is roughly divided between four regions, Choya Springs, Gaptooth Ridge, Hennigan Stead, and Rio Bravo. Choya Springs is largely desert, marked only by saguaro cactus and desert scrub. Wide open plains and low-lying hills are occasionally cut by small rocky canyons or cliffs with jagged peaks, while Lake Don Julio is its largest source of water. Most of the region is far too arid and dry for reliable farming, and settlers here instead rely on cattle to make their living. Despite its barren nature, Choya Springs is home to one of the last surviving boom towns of the American West, Armadillo. While hardly a modern settlement by any standards, Armadillo possesses an active railway station, a telegraph office, and all the basic necessities of frontier living. The Armadillo Saloon is the most popular establishment in town, although it has gained a reputation as a common hideout for gangs and road agents. Gaptooth Ridge, New Austin's second major constituent region, is a far more rugged area, the site of various mining operations and decaying farms. Gaptooth Ridge was also once home to Tumbleweed, a settlement that in its day rivaled and competed with Armadillo. Bypassed by the New Austin's railway lines, Tumbleweed was swiftly abandoned and now exists as a ghost town, home to thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Hennigan's Stead is the most diverse region in New Austin. A litany of creeks give way to swamps in the east, while pine forests spread across the north, and Oak Savannah crosses its interior. The region is serviced by a minor port settlement known as Thieves Landing on its far northeastern edge. A fitting name, the town is largely overrun by criminals and thugs, and in particular, the Bollard Twins Gang. Rio Bravo is the least settled region of New Austin, lacking any major settlements and towns. Instead, the area is strewn with remnants of the Mexican War, old forts and other military buildings in various states of disrepair. The largest of these, Fort Mercer, was once home to a prominent garrison, but its soldiers have since been redeployed or turned to prospecting, and the fort has become the headquarters of the infamous Williamson Gang. In recent years, however, Rio Bravo has seen the rise of dozens of oil derricks, a hint of the technological future that will inevitably arrive across the whole of New Austin. The American frontier and the promise of freedom attracted entrepreneurs and outlaws, priests and prostitutes, vagabonds and gentlemen. Some found wealth at the end of a mine shaft, or died penniless and friendless at the end of a gun. Whatever lives were made out here are about to change. There can be no doubt now that the Wild West is dying, and not even New Austin can remain free of civilization forever. In Atlas, the Templin Institute investigates the most storied places from across alternate worlds. If you have a suggestion for a future episode, let us know in the comments section. And if you'd like to support us directly, a link to our Patreon can be found in the description.